Okay, so what are the forms of deception and the types of deception the subject will try to use on their target? So what types of deception will the person use against you? Hi, Stan Walters from the Eye Guy Channel, back with you again. Doing some training here at the DPS Training Center in Casa Grande, Arizona. Nice toasty day of about 112. <laughs> Beats going back up into the north again where it's cold. Let's think about how subjects try to deceive. There's two positions or points in timelines where they will start. One is a preemptive type of deception, the other one's reactive. In preemptive deception, the person is, is uh, covering up or hiding their intent. Their objective is to in some way take advantage of you. And what they'll do is they'll withhold information that allows you to make an informed decision. Hope you won't recognize that you're at risk, you could take a big loss, or they intend to take advantage of you. Reactive deception is what we typically see as the interviewer. When you're investigating an incident or having the subject recall the events or their involvement, they're planning their actions. And so they're defending after the event has occurred. So preactive uh, pre or a proactive deception is more of an intelligence gathering type of process, where reactive is post incident. Now, the way they accomplish that, the strategies, one is avoidance, the other tool is changing perception. In avoidance behavior, I withhold information. That's the most common form you see in omission line. So I leave out details, information of what's happened, or is going to happen and causes you to draw the wrong conclusion. I'll give you some truth, but just enough to convince you to lead you in one direction. In embellishment, I take details and I enhance them. I improve them. I take literary license. I add. I um, uh, create more details and uh, create a great scenario for you, hoping to sell you and get you to buy in. For the observer, the lie swatter, as I like to call them, Omission liars, is, lying is harder to catch, because if you don't know, you don't know. The only way to catch that is through inference or logic. It's typically easier to spot the embellishment liar, because things do get too fantastic, they get too drawn out, and you have more of a sample to work with, more to challenge. But now for the person who intends to deceive, it's the exact opposite. Omission liar is, lying is easier, because you don't have to memorize the story, you don't have to create a long details. You just leave information out. Embellishment lying is at a greater risk. You got to remember the truth, create a reasonable story, you got to sell it, you've got to defend it if it's challenged, you got to watch the other person see how they're reacting because if you're not getting the right response you'll change the story or change your presentation and for both of them, omission and embellishment, you've got to be conscious of your own behavior. Am I giving away any cues? Am I giving away any symptoms? So think about your subjects, the objective of why they're dece deceiving and, and what their purpose is. Proactive deception is tend to be more of an intelligence gathering. Reactive deception is the cover up. And there's three H's that I call of deception where we're about. Hide, to hype, and to harm. So think about your subject's objectives. Is it to avoid punishment or is it to gain something? Is there a punishment at the end or is there a reward for the deception? See you again the next time on the Lie Guy channel. Go to the bottom here below, should be right about in here. Hit the subscribe so you can find out about the next videos coming in. Find out how to get into class. Go to my website, theligeye.com, and register for my Lie Guy list. And I'll notify you of upcoming courses coming into your area. Also, check with me on Twitter, on Facebook, on LinkedIn. And also, if you want to reach out and find out about having doing in service training or programs for your agency, drop me a note and let's see if we can bring some of the top quality scientific training to your agency. See you next time on the Law Guy channel.